Good morning, my lovely ones. Daily message for each zodiac sign from Aries to the Pisces. Three cards energies. August 17th, let's love. Each zodiac sign is Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. Aries, welcome. Let's see what we have for you today. Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups and Six of Cups. Quite emotional or could feel an emotional day for you. And most importantly, I feel here there is a, a thing here that today comes to you that this life presents you with many options. For some of you, there is something here that you you worked hard a long time ago, and now it's showing up. You know, for some of you, if you work hard to your job or work towards a cause, now you can see results. I see you happy. I see you quite overwhelmed. For some of you, hold your tears, because indeed here they are happy tears. For others of you, especially for the single Aries, you realize that there might be a few people that really wants to engage with you. Yes. And could be in a love energy, could be in a friendship energy. It's a very caring energy around you. But also at the same time, I feel here for some of you, today you might realize how blessed you are. All right, loves. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. For some of you, you realize that small things makes the bigger picture. One step at a time that brings you the best things. For those of you who have been for quite a few months confused in regards to the situation, how you will resolve it, how you will make it, how you will go from there, now you see as some sort of the light at the end of the tunnel. Good job, loves. Good jobs. Work-wise, happy and congratulations. The universe is telling you that ground yourself. You are about to be into a beautiful energy going forward. For some of you, yes, work-wise, for some of you, there is an earth sign that you probably consider them just a friend or or an old friend. Now might not be as much as an old friend. Could be the love that you were seeking or looking at. Okay. Taurus. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we have for you. The first card we have the Nine of Cups. The next one we have the Hermit and Ace of Cups. My Taurus is kind of you looking where is your happiness or what do you really want? Do you want to be single? Do you want a person into your life? Who do you want? The fact is, you do want to be happy. Ten of Cups, Nine and Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Hermit very much speaks how to. You probably are a Taurus very well educated or a Taurus who knows quite a lot of knowledge. And for one part, you are great where you are. And comfortable. For another part, it's kind of, I really miss that, you know, love. I miss that gentleness because sometimes you might feel even lonely. But you know that the happiness come in within. For others of you, you are feeling ready for starting something new in your life. And you might feel that how the situation or how I will be later on. You know, loves, it's always worth to try whatever you have in your mind. 
So later on, you might feel like, well, why did I do it? Why did I go forward? High priestess, you know. As well, for those Tauruses who are very spiritual or deep into their spirituality, you might meet someone pretty much like you. Don't forget that. Gemini's, welcome loves. As well, check your August-December predictions. I've done yesterday and unfortunately, I have an interruption of my video at one point and you'll see it. It's almost at the end, but still, I continue the reading. I add it up, I put it together. But let's see. If you didn't see that video, go ahead. But let's see this day. How goes forward and where we go eight of cups hermit eight of swords you might deal here with a virgo but we have two eights so gemini's you might have virgo you might deal with a virgo the thing is you you left something behind and now probably you are in that place of finding why I do feel this way, why I think I was this way and so on. Because kind of like you, you walked away from a situation that you didn't feel like you, you handled it better. Or if someone here walked away from your life, they never thought they can handle or they are good enough or something. For some of you, you walked away from a situation that you felt framed. You felt like, well, I'm like a prisoner. I don't feel good. It's kind of, I don't want to be where I'm not fulfilled. And I see you seeking the purpose, seeking you. For some of you, you might not walk away from a physical situation, but from a feeling of, I'm not fulfilled, I'm not good, how I can find that. In these times, like, you you are on the search, and I see you keep going, but it's kind of like you, you can yet find it. Hold tight, loves, for Virgo season, when you will see quite a lot more than you see now. Four of Cups. You probably might overanalyze the past. Don't forget there is a present and a future coming in. There's a new beginning out there. Sticking too much here, which I mean in the past, might not be the best out of the best. Cancerians, welcome loves, welcome. Let's see what we got for you. The first card for you, we have Prince of Swords, Princess of Cups, and King of Wands. Air, water, and fire. Cancer, you are in between uh, a fire and an air, or there is something here you want to go and do, and it's kind of, before starting something, I need to get more information. Yes, some Cancerians, you are between two people, but most of you Cancerians, I feel here you want to go ahead with an idea, start something, but in the meantime, you are getting more information regards how to. For some Cancerians, if you are in between two people, you are more inclined with this air than with this fire, okay? But I see you, it's in the beginning of a journey of some kind. Go ahead, loves. You know, sometimes it's good to start and sometimes it's good to learn. Whatever fits you best. Keep doing what you feel that you are being calling at. Prince of Wands, I feel here in a very short time, you will go forward. For some of you, if you are in between two people, why you are more into the air than into the fire is because you feel that the fire energy 
is either not serious or either are not really into what they say they are. It's worth to pay attention as well for everything is there. Leo, let's see for you what we got and how the things are moving out there. The first card for my Leos, we have Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Hermit. What's going on with this Hermit today? All the decks shows me Hermit and Eight of Swords. So Leo, it's it seems here there is a situation that you want to get out. And you are in the phase of how to, where to. But the other thing here is it's probably most of it in your head. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords and the Hermit. The problem I see in a way to you or in your head but actually may not be exactly as you presenting it. So pay attention to your thoughts. Are they good? Are they a negative? Or what is all about? Because sometimes we are dwell so much into some kind of negativity and overthinking and we might lose the sight of what really is there. So be careful. As well with this Five of Swords, whoever tells you whatever they tell you is because they might be quite jealous of you. And if somebody tells you you are not good at this or you will never make this and, you know, everybody has an opinion. Stick with your opinion. And of course, moving forward with Virgos. Welcome, loves. Let's see what we got for you. The first card for you, Virgo. Emperor. Fool. And Nine of Pentacles. Look at you. Some Virgos are traveling. Some Virgos are taking action into something new and feel quite confident. Look at this. This is something here I want to see to each and every one confident, determined, taking the risk and not only, it's kind of whatever it is, I will go. Works or doesn't, I will get it through. Congrats loves, I feel here you now know. There's a Virgo here who is on a new journey with the Fool and with the Emperor I feel here could be something doing on their own or for themselves and despite the odds for some of you you might feel very very enlightened or very very much that I really actually enjoy what I do go ahead loves sometimes life brings you to those horizons that probably a year or even five years ago you never thought you will go through and I feel here there's a lot of abundance on the way it's kind of you know you are on the right track on the right path wherever you're going keep going awesome for you Virgo now let's move to Libras welcome loves where we are for you and how the energies are playing. Moon, world, and full. Couldn't be better. Moon, world, and full. All major arcanas. You know, loves, when we have major arcanas, these are energies set in stone. It's not up to you, it's the universe hand. And everything letting go the fear of ending something and start something new a new path a new journey a new cycle into your life 
No more fearing of the new. No more fearing to let go other things. And I feel here there is a Libra here who says no more lies. No more dark. I'm going to the light. Moon speaks about the nighttime, darkness. Fool speaks the daytime, new beginnings, light, sun. And the world. I see you in a transitory energy. Yes, you are not at the crossroads anymore. You are not the back and forth. You are on the move. And for that reason, congrats, my lovely Libra. If you feel that this is your path, go forward, my loves. And yes, I feel here there is healing for many, many of you. And for those of you who have been doubting a lot, no more doubts. Beautiful. Scorpio, time for you, loves. Ooh, all your cards fall away, loves. You see? Let's organize them. For some reason, there's a Scorpio here with some energies up and down. Yeah. Ace of Cups right here. The last card, I believe. That's it. Yes. Okay. So, Scorpio, I will shuffle for you because it's quite a different thing here. Trying to get your cards. And it feels like they, they want to just run. Here we are. Here you are, loves. Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. And Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, Scorpius, there is someone here who really wants to come forward and offer you a stable beginning. Whatsoever, I see you back to back. Not really into or not want to. For some of you, if you are a mother figure, there is a child of yours that want to come forward and wants a clean slate. For those Scorpios who are dealing here with an earth sign, this earth sign wants to make the right thing. What about you, loves? For one part, I feel here you also want to work through this. But something here doesn't really add up. Okay. Also, there is a Scorpio here who starts a new job. And I feel here putting effort. You will go and get what you really asked for. Quite the thing here, loves. Quite the thing. Choices. You choose. Whoever comes here comes for forgiveness. For some of you, it's an earth. Some of you deal here with a Gemini. But lovers very strongly speaks that you gotta choose. Do you go forward or you just back off and do you and work on what is there for you. My beautiful Sagis, welcome. All right, what do we have for my Sagis? Strength, Five of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. My Sagis, uh, the one Sag I'm speaking here, you are getting over a breakup. There is new love, loves. Strength is telling you everything will be all right. Walk away. It's okay. Because there is something new. For others of you, especially for the Sagittarius who lost the job or gone through some financial situation. After this month of Leo or after the month of Leo is ending, things are improving. 
beautifully. It's like could take two months, up to two months. The Five of Pentacles clarifier, we have a new beginning. Page of Pentacles. So, for some of you, could come someone towards you in a form of Earth energy or Leo energy. For others of you, if you left the situation, there is another one coming. So, be aware of that, loves. Be aware. A new beginning, a new journey, and a lot of changes. It's kind of by the Scorpio season, you will be in a very different position. A lot of changes are going to happen. So buckle up, Sagittarius. The next two months, September and October, two months. Could be sooner, but within two months, a lot of things will shift and change for you. Capricorns, welcome loves. Let's see what we have for you. Lovers, three of wands and three of pentacles. There's a Capricorn here who, who is looking forward to either a new job or a new adventure. For some of you, there is a situation here that you need to make major changes. And those major changes could be regards your work or a love situation. And the work or even the love, it's not where you are. Future, yes. For some of you, there is a partnership you are going into and you're really looking forward. The thing is, this will improve in the long run. So whatever it's here, loves, it's for the long distance. Doesn't play if you really look for something here, quick fix or quick gain or quick things. It's not going to happen. Whatever you choose now, it's for the long run. If you choose to work on a project or start something new, whatever it is, will manifest within three years. Yes, you're looking for probably shorter time, but it will expand a little longer. So be aware what you start right now because it's not for a short time. If you think here like, well, I will do this just for a few weeks, a few months, be careful because you will extend even longer and that will not be very short, not be one year, not two. It's going up to three years. So get more information, whatever you try to do or go to do, okay? Because it takes a long time. If you take a course or you want to continue education or whatever it is, it will take way longer than expected. Aquarians. Time for you, loves. Let's see. What we have for Aquarius. Hang me in. Page of Swords. King of Pentacles. There's a situation here that you... You're looking why. The question is why. Why needs to be different? So, the Aquarius I'm speaking here, there's a situation here that you, you look it, but it's not the way you see it. It's quite the opposite. The hangman is telling you, whatever is there, see it upside down. Okay? Take your time to see and then go whatever you have to do. If an Aquarius here is dealing with an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or a Pisces, and you feel like why these things are not moving between us, 
I feel here is not only on you. It's on the other person as well. Or there's other things here. And could be the comfort zone. Could be, well, I'm okay. How the things are. If you are looking to get out of the comfort zone, I feel here the things need to be done a little different than you do. And then things will move forward. Also for some of you Aquariuses, if a situation here was stuck or you feel stuck for over two years, the month of September, the ninth month, there's a lot of movement till December or till the full moon in Cancerian. So whatever it's here, loves, get ready. And of course, do not procrastinate. Saturn, it's still retrograde in your zodiac sign. A lot of karmic energies around it, a lot of karmic lessons to be learned. Please do. Don't try to make the things, you know, probably feel in an easy way or run away from certain things to, to make it differently because it will take longer. You know, whoever says it right, make the things in a right way from the first time. So later on, to not lose time and other things doing again the right way so no loves and of course our Pisces welcome let's see my beautiful Pisces here is your major arcana hangman hierophant and three of wands Changes. Somebody here wants certain changes. Could be regards in their marriage, could be regards their job or the connection they are. I want something else. What can I do? Because I see you kind of like stuck into a situation that you hope to resolve. Let's see if there can be uh, resolving situation absolutely strategize look for clarity page of pentacles speaks that the beginning most likely is gonna happen but one step at a time small things makes the bigger picture and as well page of pentacles speaks of something tangible for those of you who are having a job and you don't feel growth, you most likely will choose to start something new that requires in the long run to grow. For others of you, I feel here there is something here that is changing into your energy a little later on. So get ready loves, get ready. Three of Cups. For some of you, this is happening by the next holiday. Whatever the next holiday is there. As well, for some of you, if you are in a kind of connection and you don't feel certain things, maybe having new friends or making new friends or getting out more might help you. But I feel here that Social life might not be really up to date for some of you or really want to get out a little more. And welcome collective. Goodness, this reading today will be a little longer than we usually do, but it's not up to me very, very strongly, but up to the messages that are coming in. All right, collective. Eight of Cups, moving on the way. King of Swords, crystal clear, getting ready. You plan a move. Here you are. Yes, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, 
Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You don't really know where you to go or what to do, but you clearly know there is a new beginning. Okay? And something here indeed ended. World, Four of Swords. There needs, uh, there needs not clarity, but needs healing. Chariot, yes. Somebody here distanced themselves from a situation or from a person or even from a chapter in their life because they feel like I need peace. Even someone moved away. World, Six of Swords and the Chariot speaks of move, even physical move. Queen of Cups. And also somebody here might need to take time and figure out who they want to be with. Some of you, you move away from a um, fire sign towards a water sign, Cancerian in particular, vice versa. But indeed here, someone is on the move and most likely is this King of Swords, air energy. Could be a Korean energy because with the world fixed zodiac signs that it's kind of like this is it. For some of you, you are moving on from a betrayal and you're still seeking answers. Six of Swords, Four of Swords. Or for some of you, you moved away from a situation when it was too like to not be too late. Whatever is here is like I needed to move when the right time was or when was the opportunity not stay longer. The six of swords, nine of wands. It's kind of I didn't even try to resist. Or someone here could try to resist but they didn't see another solution. Ace of Cups. Because someone here, whoever did not really resist, they knew there is something new out there. The Four of Swords, Six of Wands. And yes, Leo energy here. Four of Pentacles. King of Cups. So whatever is here, loves. Whoever moves forward, they know there is something new. What's the confusion here? Lovers. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, and Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody here indeed wants to be happy, even though someone will get hurt. But it seems here someone here is moving towards their twin flame. If someone here is engaged, it's kind of breaking off the engagement. The thing is, what I'm seeing, someone could be married and moves away from a marriage, and the other one could be engaged. So there is, there is two people who do love each other. And it's kind of, uh, we don't know yet what to do or how to do best here. The thing is, look at here, we have four of wands, four of swords, four of pentacles, four of cups is missing. Leaving behind the past and encountering the future. Resisting the past or be in the past and move forward. 
King of Swords, Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, and the Fool. So here we are, loves. Somebody here really thought things will work. But yes, I feel also this is a past life energy that someone here feels even confused. Also, for some of you, if you've been committed with someone, that commitment is broken. And whoever hold back does not hold back anymore. And whoever have been confused where they need to heed forward now they are trusting the universe and crystal clear where they are in their journey and in their move. Beautiful energy loves. Beautiful energy. So loves, that's what I have for you. I hope this speaks. And if that's, let me know. Other than that, have a beautiful day ahead. Namaste.